What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the Sony Homebrew Manager update. Now this is the most latest update for 1.4. Thank you Mr. Gindini, you are doing great and amazing work. Now this comes with the new user interface and also more links for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita database was refined so we go to the developers github and we will download the latest version okay so we downloaded that information now if you have some few bucks for a beer you can donate and the link will be in his github you guys can see that the user interface is pretty awesome I like the choice of colors look kind of like a hot pink with black pretty cool so now we will go into the settings and we'll go ahead and map out the information. The pretty cool thing about it, it gives you step by step on what to do in his readme. So we will also enable the Vita database from Reginimate. Just straight from that database getting the PlayStation Vita homebrew. You guys can see now it will have some icons. It will also give you the download bar which is awesome and you can check the status of what you have downloaded which is cool so we will go to settings and we will use the legitimate Vita database and turn it on we will also copy those links into the settings information so I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description so you guys can follow it as well so we will get our zip folder and then we will extract the SHM folder to our desktop okay so now that we have that we will go and access the folder and we will see the SHM UI.exe file so we launch it you guys can see look at it right away there has been major improvement a lot of time has been put into this thank you Mr. Gindini so the first thing we'll do, we'll activate the Vita database. Now you guys can see that the line for the PlayStation Vita has been removed. So we go to the README and we will copy that link for the PlayStation 3. Now that we've copied it, we will go ahead and paste it. We will do the same thing for the PlayStation 4. We will highlight and then copy that information. okay so now for the path just save the settings and then you should be fine you can leave the path blank that will be saved and you guys will see right now in a moment once we download a homebrew so for now I am going to browse around which is pretty awesome you guys can see the icon links and I'm going to download the Game Boy emulator for the PlayStation Vita so there it is it has been downloaded which is awesome you guys can see if you go to the folder it will be in the SHM folder it will create the folder by itself you so technically you don't have to do anything just map out the links and then download stuff and then it will create the folders by itself very simple for us guys okay so now you use the arrow to go back to the previous screen you guys can see for the PlayStation 3 we have more items. Now I'm going to download this Artemis PS3 package. Okay, you also can go to the website for the GitHub for that developer or where the actual file is located. More information to us. You guys can see that this application is like kind of like a cheat application for the PlayStation 3 for the games. So now you can guys select the other buttons and download it for the PS3 it'll give you the information and then if you want all the apps if we use the back arrow you guys can see for the PlayStation 4 if you guys don't have a repository of files hit up Mr. Gindini he can add it to this database so hit him up in Twitter so now we're going to install our package file from the PlayStation 3 and we will extract the artemis.zip folder 
So we extract the package file to our desktop. Now we're going to connect our USB and we're going to copy that file to the root of the USB for the PlayStation 3. Okay, so that's all we need here. We move on to the PlayStation 3 and then we're going to install that package file. Okay, so now we go to the game area and we're going to select the folder package manager and then we're going to install package files we go all the way down to standard and there we have our package Artemis so we install it the installation has been completed and we launch the application this is awesome guys how simple can it get these guys are doing a great job thank you Mr. Gandini thank you Reginimate for the partnership also with Mr. Gandini and giving us this access. Now if we launch the application you guys can see that it, it is working and I don't know what that means but if you guys use it just give it a thumbs up, hit up Mr. Gandini, give him a big thanks. So guys if this helped remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Game of Rebirth out.